So we are back with the 2006 Panasonic and I'd like to apologize for the absolutely terrible white balancing on the last video. It's just because, uh, I think it's because the silver rim and the white wall and plus most of the, most of the screen is taken up by the blackness. But this is going to be a short brief video. So I've heard a lot and I've seen it a lot myself that sometimes some Panasonics, especially the Vieras, sometimes you go to turn them on but instead they just click and then you get a little blinking from the power light. There's actually a really easy solution to that because if uh, it gets to the point where the power light starts blinking, you have to unplug the TV, you have to unplug your box, your antennas if, uh, if that's the case and you have to plug everything back in and then you have to wait five minutes for the thing to start up and then you have to try it out again and see if that works. But there is a really simple solution. To, uh, to all your problems. When you turn it on, you just have to wait for the LCD to come on. You can tell it just came on there. And if it doesn't, then all you have to do before it gets to that point is just shut it off. Just have to shut it off, wait 30 seconds, and you know, it's fine now because I've used it a couple times already and I know it's gonna be fine. It's a rare problem, but it can be a pain in the ass to deal with more than anything else. So that's really it for this one. I didn't plan on anything special with this one. This was just a nice little tip video because I don't think anyone's ever really covered it. I'm not sure what causes it. It's just an occasional problem that isn't really a problem per se, but just more of an occasional pain in the ass that, oh, the TV's not starting. I have to unplug and replug everything again. When all you really have to do is just shut it off and restart it before it gets to that point because uh, all you really have to do to just get there is count. Just count by the third or fourth second. If the LCD isn't on, then just shut it off. I've done it a million times now and it hasn't failed me. Uh, the only problem would be if it's like really bright out and there's a lot of glare on the TV. You just have to really keep your eyes peeled. But... Like I said, it isn't a problem problem, it's just an annoyance, and you know, if you can find any way to get past an annoyance like this, hey, you saved yourself five minutes and you saved, uh, you saved your TV watching time five minutes. So that's about it for this one. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed.